Welcome to Bunhill Fields, a famous old graveyard just north of the square mile. We're standing in the shade of an ancient fig tree next to the grave of William Blake, the most famous person buried here. And of course, people leave offerings and some coins on top, and I've found a, even a spliff lying here on previous occasions. We also have the grave of Daniel Defoe here, famously the author of Robinson Crusoe, and John Bunyan over there who wrote Pilgrim's Progress. But there's one other grave in this graveyard that I think deserves to be equally well known, and it's at the other end of the graveyard. So this is the grave of Dame Mary Page. It's quite an interesting beast, isn't it? It looks like some kind of film prop or something with these stark letters standing out from the white background. I think it was recently repainted. And it's kind of interesting for the language on this side. I mean, the relict of Sir Gregory Page, who was an MP. It's not the kind of language we use today. But the real joy of this grave, and the slightly morbid tale, is round on the other side. So here is recorded the unfortunate fate of this lady. She was tapped 66 times, which is to say water was drained from her lungs. They took off 240 gallons. In more familiar terms, that's about 2,000 pints of liquid over this period of 67 months. Can you imagine what this must have been like? Now she chose these words herself, they're actually in her will. So this unusual language was decided by herself. She wanted to be seen as somebody who'd suffered, kept a stiff upper lip and eventually died of her ailments. Now if you want to see this remarkable grave, head to Bunhill Fields which is near Old Street Tube Station and you'll find it at the western end of the graveyard.